Bonjour et bienvenue à la nouvelle vidéo de la vie avec Azan. Aujourd'hui, nous discutons le topic de l'université durant le coronavirus. On y va? Basically, for a semester, our classes until Thanksgiving are going to be in person. But after Thanksgiving, they are going to shift to virtual instruction and we will have our um, finals online as well. And then um, we were we, we had a fall break, but that, that's eliminated. And we will have two reading days instead, which um, I'm not really sure what they're for, but we'll see um, about that. And as well as after Thanksgiving, we have the option to either come home, but if we come home, they request us to stay home. If we do not go home for Thanksgiving, then they ask us to stay at the universe. Like, or I mean, you have the option to stay at the university. Um, then I believe right now they're thinking about a return in January. But that could possibly get delayed to March. No one really knows. Um, but right now it's said January. So we'll see what happens. Next, we'll talk about how they're handling like dorms and things. So dorms, well, they're kind of handling them in a similar way. Like for example, they're, um, some colleges, what they're doing is only one person per room, but I still believe my college is doing two per people per room because of capacity issues and things. Um, but we'll see how they do it. I do believe they are going to require masks in all classes. Uh, actually, the school sent me a mask. Um, so I think they will require them everywhere. And then they're going to really limit gatherings to around, I think, 50-ish people. Um, they might they're uh, most likely going to stagger arrival timing so that not everyone shows up on like the three days. They might like, you know, give everyone time slots and things because um, my incoming class is 800 people. So we'll see about that. And then also um, dining, they altered the dining plans. So because after Thanksgiving, most people aren't going to be there. Um, so yeah, they just changed that. I mean, dining pretty much works the same way. Like you have your, um, your like separate dollars that you have for dining, depending on how much you get loaded on the card. And then you have the, um, regular like meals, like. 19 meals uh, for freshmen. So yeah, and then after that, I think that for bathrooms, obviously they're going to be like cleaning them much more frequently and um, there's going to be hand sanitizer everywhere. But the main thing is they will not let many people congregate at the same time. And they, um, like they'll try to have us not go out so often, like maybe just on the weekends, not during like the weekdays. Um, so, especially for the freshmen, since it's their first year. So it's also good for instilling good study habits. So um, I'm also participating in an early arrival program. So people um, in the early arrival programs are scheduled to go as they normally are. Um, in early arrival programs around, um, I'm not sure how many, maybe like around 200, 300 people 
ring around 400 come first uh four days before everyone else and so this year they're also limiting capacity for those which previously it was just how many ever how many um the amount of people didn't matter but this year they're capping them i think around 100 or 200 it depends on the program so um that's something different additionally they started i'm going to st joseph's university so they started something called sju go because um we won't have like an in-person orientation in june we had our orientation virtually and we registered for our classes virtually um in June, like literally um, one or two days ago. So um, yeah, so we got orientation done. Um, then, okay, for housing, I'm participating in a RLC, which is a residential learning community, and I'm participating in the business one. So um, uh, they haven't really decided how they're going to proceed with the dorms and everything. J'espère que vous aimez cette vidéo et um, uh, commentez, abonnez et aimez uh, s'il vous plaît. Merci de voir regarder. On se voit dans cette suivante vidéo. Au revoir. I know it's a game.